Why not? I have time. Wonderful. It goes like this. All right. Bosses Popcorn and ready. were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town, vagrants. They go from door to door asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all, Sheesh. until finally they come to a little cottage where Borsis and Philemon lived. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Borsis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, realizing only a select few possess such powers. Says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine. And the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster. Why god. would the they king of the gods and the trickster? The meager offerings. They were just pleased That's a very that odd couple. The town offered them hospitality. An odd then Jupiter merger. Says to them, you have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed. So we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it, except you, who we will grant a wish. They probably so Orsis and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity together. Fucking okay. Jupiter carries through <laughs> what has the city to not be wiped off of the map, map, but okay. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. Uh, okay, I'm a but guest. I like to think. It's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. It's true. I mean, why the fuck not? I'm here. You heard. You, I heard your really uh, long poem. Time for me to give my really long answer. A cynic philosopher might take that view, but it's not entirely invalid, I suppose. Ah, oh, thanks. She's very open-minded. I like her. I really like her. They're like a romance option. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, what's the status of the election? By dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? I'm very interested in politics. <laughs> yeah, who's allowed to vote? Because that gladiator dude kept All pestering me. All of the me. male citizens who are willing and able to attend, unless they're running. Of oh, I see. Wait, can I vote then? Well, you're not a citizen yet, so no, I'm afraid not. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Okay, Quito. I don't know. Okay. By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. Uh, wait, oh, okay, let me just ask this. Mm. There we go. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me, either. There are some women who can vote. Vestal priestesses like myself. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the- Alright, fair enough. Um... Okay, you oversee the election, I don't need that. Can I nominate? You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk. But I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Okay, alright, this is like a feature quest. Like fucking Maliolo or whatever, it'll be like. It never. As you Not wish. yet. Let's talk Certainly. about something else! Who is the next. Okay, it has to be like. Okay, whatever. Uh, do you know a way out? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us, one way or another. 
Oh, I'll be going now. To me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Who the fuck groaned right next to me? Is it you? Yes, I can. Why do I sound so odd? All right. It's a, it's a penis. Greek god of disease and healing, among other things. Search. She's dead, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, she's not moving a fucking inch. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient. And a dear friend. Yulia. Yulia. She was a good woman. Uh, I was opening chat. Should I come back later? Do no, some other quest? No, now it's fine. I can't afford to wallow here. And I need the distraction. What's on your mind? Uh, what's your story, Lucretia? I'm Lucretia. And I'm some going background to be straight on you. with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. Yeah, but you're I'd very take this really upright. Myself than let one of you lot mess it up. Tell me about well, Navia. She used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician, but she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues. Like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her because nice. that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. I have no idea what it is. Who? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scared. Well, 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 well. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. Fucking like chill and him you know in the what meantime. That means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him. Assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Oh, find out. Thanks, I suppose. Uh, can I read talk about Louis? Sure. What do you want to know? Did you hear her say anything about escaping? Uh, how did you know that? Yes, she did mutter something about the only way out. A few times, but nothing more than that, I'm afraid. Do you think she was poisoned? Um, yeah. It's just I so haven't good. seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas' villa. And they are quite secretive. Well, she's still in the villa. Okay. Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule, and... So, maybe it's best we don't discuss it. I guess. I mean... Them gods with their big ears, am I right? <laughs> Alright, see, do you know what poisoned Hemlock, her? Hemlock, I believe. Uh, what lock? Um, okay. Well, Gladly. Uh, do you know where I are here? Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. <laughs> Just I'll don't. Do my best to Just you, But I'm no. out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. What do you think about the A Golden Rule, personally? Seen might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. Speaking of utopia, but snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what Decius. can we do about okay. it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. 
keep he okay. Um, uh, let's just ask she what happened. Poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally, I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, <laughs> supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her. Or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even below. the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric Fututo and scratching his eyes out. Fututo. Uh, that's dangerous talk, whatever. I don't really care about dangerous talk, because as we demonstrated, fucking... Blasphemy isn't really a sin. I'll see what I can do. Is that oh, normal? No. Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia, and uh, she went a little mad. Yeah, I forget anything. Anything about what? <laughs> Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Oh, that's boring. Barbaric looking medical implements. Not that barbaric. I mean, yeah, it's kind of barbaric. Never mind. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Are you the one who groaned next to me while I was talking to es Estria? Uh, what's your story? Can't talk long, got to stay sharp, but uh, family's from Solusha on Tibius. Family of Rusha. But I've been Roman a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. How did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. Uh, why are you still wearing your because armor? We're all in great danger. Is it not obvious? Nope. Why don't you have a weapon? Mm. Magistrate made me toss it in a chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. Not much of a talk. If right. you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. Oh, you're so vague! Uh, are you suffering from rheumatism? Nobody is supposed to know about that. Did Lucretia tell you? I figured it out on my own by clicking on the options that <sighs> were presented to me. Look, I haven't been at my best lately. All my joints ache constantly and... and the pain... it has a way of messing with your head. I get... Stirred up by things that shouldn't bother me, and, and then there's the statues, and my doubts about my faith, and I just, I just want to scream. You want to help me? Do what Lucretia hasn't been able to do, and find me something to make the pain go away. 
Until then, get out of my face. Get this in my face. How about that? Oh, hey. Handshake? Man, let me see if I can get away with medium settings. It doesn't look like I changed that much. Okay. And what is this shrine? What kind of shrine has left? No shit. Greetings and salutations. Greetings. I'm Georgius. Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. Uh, where are you and from? I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Well, thank you. Finally, the someone explains. Yes. Yeah. Trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. No, don't mind the frog. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know, from which exotic part of the world do you hail? I'm from beyond the edge of the known world. Then you are an explorer like me. Wonderful. Epic. You must have many stories to share. I cannot oh, wait. Oh yeah, to this hear is them. wine time. We will like I was so close to catching Giratina in like Pokemon Platinum. Now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Mm. A sharp one. What's your story, My Georgie? Story? How kind of you to ask? I am a tailor and I run the Oh, I am in the an floor. investigator, so I'm gonna have to do it. Why set up here? You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the Golden Rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? Yeah, more or less. I'll tell you, it is precisely because of the Golden Rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. <laughs> okay. Say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our heads. Don't you agree? Fair enough. How did you end a up here? A good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. I see. Why don't you tell me what you do hmm. remember? I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares and droning in coin. Ooh, droning in coin. My success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of it's that gross. compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. Sounds like you overdid it, my friend. Of course, of course. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. Who is this stranger? I went stranger? to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Yeah, you know what? I think all of us are from the future. Fuck, I'm going with a theory. Think about Anything something else. You like. Do you know a way out of here? Not so loud! What are you playing at? Or did I say the, did I say the wrong thing? Have you not been told about the last attempt? Nope. The oh, last attempt? Then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. Ah, it's as if I'm going anywhere. Aha, you are with me. I like that. Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. Well, I have, you know. 
If the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft. shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. Okay. See? They have. I am getting to that. Oh shit, okay. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice shake the entire city. And that, tragically, is where their tale ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it is best to not even discuss it aloud. Thanks. So, speaking of the golden rule, what do you think of it? Ah, uh, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, Jeans. this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. The Greek. All right. Why do you say that? Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first oh, okay. to learn this full lesson yeah. when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The grain turned to empty husks and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands until at last the other gods were forced to act lest they have no worshippers left. Okay. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. Focus. What can we do about it? If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, Avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. Uh... Uh, easier to say than done. Regrettably, I think you are correct, my friend. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. I know. I've seen it happen. Me! Ah, I did that. The voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. I know. But on my buddy and I were like fucking robbing a KFC. One thing for the golden rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? <laughs> <laughs> I love. I love his laughter. All right, who are you going to vote for, buddy? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. Oh, interesting. I do not enjoy I'm just gonna call him Milo. Visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Fuck, so he's rigging the election. Nothing comes to my mind, my friend. Oh, I'll be going now. I hope now. that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Oh wow, nice painting. Food who have been extracted from plants and insects. Okay. Not bad. You look well, my sartorial friend. I wish I could see myself in the third person, because like people keep saying I got the drip. Salve. Stop. I can just, I can just like steal it, right? And then like, I'll go back in the fucking loop. Help! You have to do something! What the fuck? A man arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon! He got a weapon! You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. Um... How is this my problem? Are you daft or just callous? If you don't stop him, we're all going all to Alright, he has got weapons. Right, okay. Scalus, good luck! <gasps> anyway. Where are you going? 
the shrine is collapsing. <laughs> okay. Fabia, no. Fabia, no. She's dead. No. Don't see that. The whole shrine just collapsed on her. If she was on oh, no. Fabia. Why did you have to go in there? <laughs> oh my oh, god. Sweet girl. Oh, Fabia. I can't believe she is dead. Fabia, I mean. She yeah, yeah, whatever. Are cruel and unjust. She would... Well, that was... that was something. Um... Eh. Oh, so it's like... Uh, hello? Uh... Hello? 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 Uh, what's your story? My name's Doolin. I live here now because I got in trouble and they, they said they had to lock me up. And what did you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. Okay, Doby. Did someone, someone think, yeah. Yes, but I wasn't. I, I was just looking. Are you? Were you? Is that all? I did it. More than once. But I can't remember. <laughs> Liar so Billy. Good. Then they called me mean names. No. They called. They called me a liar, Billy. That's. Oh, you're a liar, Billy. Yes. They said I have to live here now. And gave me this letter. But I'm not good with words. Do you? Clearly. Do you think you could read it for me? <laughs> Magistrate Sentience to Dulius. Summary. Magistrate Sentius explains Dooley was locked up to prevent him from trespassing. So, not stealing in particular, but trespass. Oh, seems to remember who you, where you are, blah blah. Okay, take. What does it say? It says that you caught trespass, you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh... My treasure! What treasure, my dude? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. Huh? He said he always would. But then... He died. It was very sad. He said... I see. If anything ever happened to him... I had to find something very precious hidden away. Oh, so you're he just recovering something you lost. And made me promise to keep it safe until I Don't found just the treasure. Springtime? Shut the fuck up. Who said that? But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about assistance. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Priestess lady. She's a nice lady. She is. All right, if you give me the key, I can try Hannibal it. Hannibal said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. You can trust me. Look at the way I dress. Uh, maybe you could help me get out of here. Oh, absolutely. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Oh, hell yeah. Let me talk to the magistrate. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen. No matter Don't worry, what. I'm like a smooth talking criminal. I know what to do. Maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Maybe I'll just break you up. What about the rules? I don't want everyone to Unlawful get in jailing I is also bad. Like Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. Oh shit. Okay, fucking third party candidate we got over here. I mean, here. Fuck. And I can give you the key to my treasure. Cool. Hannibal said it was 
in the systems. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. My precious. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Uh, do you know a way out? You're going to let me out of here. Really? Of course. Of course. I... Uh, but, you know, I got... I got a quest with the priestess lady. Please. I hate it here. It makes me I, I, very I'm sick. on it. I just want to... Never mind. Oh, what do you think about the golden rule? Okay, this is useless. Treasure? Talk about My your treasure. Used to look after me. Oh yeah, this is like... Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. no, no. Fair enough. I'll be going now. Bye-bye. Bye. Ave -bye. again. Did you... Oh wait, not yet. No, this is like the uh... stadium of some sort. The myth video, blah blah blah. Here, 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 here. Take it. Sure, why not? Let's take it. Fuck it. Oh, we're back here. Decius, why is he way over there? Oh, Olivia. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. Yeah, cool. Uh, what's your story, The lady? bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. Uh, fair enough. Uh, you sure. think you wish to know, but you do not. Lady, I'm kind of it on a, a for you time. If you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. I think you're greedy, lady. So, uh, do you know it out here? There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. You could just say hell. They never do. What about Golden Rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. And statues. Do you need help? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern. A terrible pattern. pattern. It is better for you if you remain yep, okay. ignorant. The new... Cerberus lifts his triple head. And lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. From the fish off, dude. Ignorant. This you have that in Turangano. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Rufius. You have Decius. Okay, he's just eating. Hello, Aurelia. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but... Well done with your uh, scrubbing. I, on you, I was intrigued. There's something dangerous about you. Like a prowling manticore. <laughs> okay. You're as charming as you are beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I yes, don't find you so intriguing anymore. Oh, Let's just well. forget that ever happened, so we can at least <laughs> do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? 
I need to ask a few questions. Ugh, let it go. Nothing's Don't going to happen between us. Time. Uh, okay, so just you, you know, know way out of here. I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. Uh, I guess that went right over your head. Never mind. As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii to you? Uh, tell me more about what I'm buying. I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. How do I know if I took your scam? money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't I? And I have no interest in doing that. I'll pass. What's the matter? Can't afford it? Well, you. perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others, on occasion. What? Loans are legal here? Oh, whatever. So, uh, what do you think about a gold rule? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, scrubbing that to fucking drink cup. is human, so we drink. Are there any interesting Certainly. gossip? For ten denarii. Yeah, let's talk about something Whatever else. Whatever you like. I'm All right. See ya. Hmm. What now? Uh, you can tell me about the magistrate. He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. What's your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica. But there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. I'm from Liguria, up north originally. Cool. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl. And pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. Ooh. Oh. People screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future child tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But, I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, Difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Cool. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. All right. So, can we talk about Centilla? What business is that of yours? Sister. A lot of people have been looking for her, but it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Uh, have you looked at me, dude? Sometimes fresh eyes help. Hmm. I suppose that's true. Uh, I'm not gonna bluff, I don't think. Centilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better though, I suppose. Alright, so he's clearly the boyfriend. Fine. I think. So, do you know we're out here? <laughs> I've been around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. By a learner? Okay, cool. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength. Mm, it's a real the Younger fan. That's from Seneca the Younger. 
if you're interested. Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Uh. And A. That bondsman, okay. Died in cistern. Hannibal died in a cistern. That's not good. I need to go into slums. Of course. Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately... I don't think my vote is going to make any difference to Yeah. Him. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. That kind of weak. Hey, if you think you can do better, be my guest. But I won't hold my breath. In any case, mm. if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. Boom, boom. All right. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Scintilla. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. No, you're doing just fine. What's in your mind? Uh, ever thought about writing for magistrate yourself? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting duly set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release duly from his cell. That's good enough for me. Why is Dooley in a song? Because Sentius put him there. Poor Dooley was just wandering around looking for some imaginary treasure. Now a magistrate accused him of being a thief. Well, it's nonsense, of course. Dooley's the most harmless man you'll ever meet. But Sentius really has it in for him, for some reason. Interesting. Let's talk about something Gladly. else. You know, way out of here. As much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius's daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. All right, I'll be going now. All right, see you around. <sighs> oh, Salve, stranger. And welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. On your best behavior, I trust. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia. Yulia? Well, we just have to carry on, don't we? Um, what's your story? You mean, how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Help me some yourself. Time. I need some prison. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. Why would I come up with a thousand dinars? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard, and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? I don't have that kind of money. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? I'll be going Very well. Ahead. Another time. Fortune Handsome. smile on you, brother. You stay away from my money.
Galerius. Horatius. Handsome. Looking a bit troubled there. Ixian turns. Now don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Yeah, but I keep thinking, what if there is something I can do? What happened to my fucking flashlight? There we go. I guess it's not for me yet. That lamp! Never have I seen its equal. Alright, while I'm here I should steal a few denarii, huh? You know what I'm saying? Behind closed doors... Majestic. Getting dark. Oh wait, I should probably say something to the magistrate. Ave, Ave whatever. Dark. Ave. Ah, you've returned. Do you have it? Ah. I'd like you to release the wing. Julius. Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. I mean, he's like special, right? He was caught. He's 
multiple times, sneaking around in places he should not have been. Okay, what exactly did you do? I can see where you're going with this. You think me cruel. I assure you, that is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago, during the Republic, the law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born, owing to his deformities. I see. Here, we see to it that he has food, water, and shelter, and most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an incorrigible rule breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Like, now, he doesn't mean it, right? Was there something else? If you, it's an, it's like if you accidentally kill a man. <laughs> You don't mean to. Come on. Uh... Ask them. Good. Now. Oh, there we go. Of course. What is it? Uh, I know who it is. Are you sure you've spent enough time investigating? It looks like you'll have to continue. Cool. We we'll get back to Thank it then. You. I'll be waiting here for news. What have you discovered? Yes, please do. Ooh. Oh, my health. <laughs> All right, let's see here. me, huh? Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? What's a cistern? Contrary little cap at murder, aren't you? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Uh, why do I have to do everything around here? Whoa. So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk you could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body sprawled out on the ground. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Uh, what did you do? Well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Without a weapon? Well... It's your funeral. Okay, so Hannibal is down there. Elections. Wait, you're all gone. 
Oh shit! Holy fuck! Oh, you scared me. Aha! Uh -huh. May Apollo keep you safe. So there is a way to save Luke. Yeah. Alright, we need to steal it for our future loop. Oof. But first, let's take a look at the election, shall we? Where is it? It's over there, right? Oh, I'm here. Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. 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 Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Meliolus. Rufius. Maliolus. And finally, Domitius. Maliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gurdy. Hail Magistrate Maliolus. Oh, well, let's go. I said. Hail Magistrate Maliolus. Yeah, this is him. Yeah, woo, let's go. That's woo. more like it. Thank you. Thank you. None of them actually clapped. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens, under my leadership. Being on standby. Enjoy the freedom oh wow, look at that. Butterflies. Walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all. Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. Oh, that's cool. I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now. Here and now? Okay. Entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Oh, I guess we should get ready. Proceed. This is insanity. You doom us all. Lies. It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is. This is why 
Oh god, let's go. Oh god, let's run. actually do this Looper! Finally, we got that achievement after two hours of playtime. Um, what medic? Oh, right, right, resume. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. We don't have much time. I don't have, I'm Yusa, and we had this conversation uh, before. Your name is Galerius, and you're about to show offer me the. Oh, back at so much today. Drink last night. Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem, I had to go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Just attach the pulley to the rope oh, the, the rope. lake and hang on okay. to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Man. Things will be going now. All right. See you around. Oh, that was a, that was a trip. All right. Um, we had to do this. Let's go. Well, since we, we... Yeah, before we do anything, let's actually, you know, uh, stick in our wallets, if you know what I'm saying. Where is this? Oh, fuck. I'm stuck. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? What is it, citizen? All right. Okay, that's weird. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, come on, we don't have much time. Come on, let's go. 46. Not bad.
Okay, I want to go here first. Right. Oh shit! Okay. Oh my god. Quite chanky. Oh. All right. What have we got along these lines? Hey friend, I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? Putting a bit on That's edge. Good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's... Well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is that. responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. So, you're a Christian. Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but... Things are very difficult for us right now. And why is that? There was a terrible fire in Rome last year. And our Emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were... Executions. It was horrible. Your secret's oh, safe to me. You. You yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, what's your story? Yeah, yep, I used uh -huh. hurts long after... Oh, much the same way as many of the others. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage. But, unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water, rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. Oh, that's all right. Cool, I can finally tell I'm sure tell it's all part of God's plan for me. God's plan. Let's hope so. If you like. Uh, you know, wait out here. I'm afraid not. Although, I did want. I don't put mm -hmm. a lot of stock, stock in, in such, such rumors, rumors. But if yeah. that doesn't work, then I suppose. I hope it works. We're going now. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever. I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would Hi. you do that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. I just Please don't give a shit. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need uh, to- Me neither, dude. Uh, yeah, do you really I think- I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. Oh. Alright, I'll talk Thank to Thank you. And please, Choose your words carefully.
Stop this right now, you motherfucker. Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. No. I yeah. screwed up my life. Yeah. That so, was wrong. I'm gonna. This is definitely I gonna lead him pay it back, to the ground. I up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Oh, he is Centilla's love. Okay. Bye. I. I can't believe he went through with it. Oh Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, is it rumbling? What happened I'll have now? to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Alright, suicide. Not a sin. The temple door is locked. This is weirdly... Egyptian? Interesting. Random boulder? Gotta be a way in. Um, maybe from up there. Is it? Huh. Well, anyway, is she still alive? Oh, good. What are you doing in here? God, she needs the resin of a... What? Yulia, Yulia. Hopefully in a moment she should be able to breathe normally. 
That Hope was thing. extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing and at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? Yeah. Uh, look, if you don't want to tell me, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. But no matter. That was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life and I'm a medic. you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. I'll be going That's now. a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Everything's locked. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't pickpocket. <sighs> so, what's next on the agenda? new face, are they? Interesting. I'm not sure why you're telling me. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? Hmm. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Keep asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. Come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Cool. So, I'd really need to ask everybody, huh? A fellow traveler from a faraway land. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. I'm glad you arrived when you did. So, how do you know you wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. Oh, what do you mean? I just mean I grew up in the Batavi tribe. Far to the north in Novio Magus, and learned to expect a bit of hostility. See. They weren't nearly as tolerant as the Romans. So, what's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. 
Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. Oh, that yeah. That kind of thing. No, but I... you probably don't want to hear about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Tell me about the temple up on the bluff. You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside. I suppose we'll never know. Uh, of course. Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Alright, I'll be going nice now. Nice to talk to you. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I don't want to go there. Can you bother me? Help! You have to do something! You have to do... Alright, I'll get right on it. Thank you. I have to... What? Uh, Alright, um... Fine. Cool. Anyway... All right, this is the entrance. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Yes, I saw him worshiping in a small round shrine just inside the city. Second building on your left. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. Yeah, anyway. So here and still leaking. Ah, oh, alright. That's actually, I want to see him dying though. Curse you, cultist. Wooden bow, huh? Pretty nice. Uh, examine. Fuck it, let's take it. Anyway. Uh, read. Nero, this is, a, this is like a Nero empire. Uh huh.
One denarii? It's not fucking... Anyway. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. Really? No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban. But ban? I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. Yeah, really. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Go on. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? That's just come to life and fry golden bowls of arrows at them. And here I yeah. was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case, supposedly one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty. A terrible, horrible waste of human life which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella Aesop. The goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability that to transmute called? organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees, and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interested? Uh, I don't think he had a strong grasp of, uh, you know... Inflation. But sure, why not? I'm interested. Yeah, whatever. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? Not really. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A golden bow? Precisely. I can't oh. tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking you know what. But you want me to steal oh, it? gods no! If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No. Here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Then, you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft, exactly. It's more of a... a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. All right, where's the shrine? Hey, why can't you do it yourself? I'm more of an ideas man, whereas you're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. I yeah, have complete yeah, confidence yeah. in you. All right, all right, okay. Uh, whatever. I don't care about how dangerous so, it is. Let's just go. Are you in, partner? Of course. All right. Uh. If you don't like action or horror elements, feel free to decline. Um, I'll do it, but don't ever call me partner. Wonderful. Now, if you'll hand over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. This is a quality weapon. Now, bear with me for a moment. And here we are. A gold leaf And just leaf like bow. that. Just like that. Unlock the shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. 
may the gods not watch over you. 